Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean Ian. In today's video, we'll be going over set subtraction using Venn diagram. So we'll be talking about how to represent the subtraction of sets in a Venn diagram. Let's get into it. We'll start off with a quick recap of set subtraction. We'll say we have a set X that's equal to the set containing 1, 2, and 3. And let's say we have a set Y that's equal to the set containing 4, and let's say 2. And I'm only using these names, X and Y, instead of something more typical like A and B, because I'm going to be using the word B a lot in this lesson, and I don't want that to get confusing. So X and Y is what we're going with. So then let's say we want to find X minus Y. What is this equal to? Well, the set X minus Y contains every element of X that isn't an element of Y. So we can just go through the elements of x one by one. Let's see, one is an element of x, but it's not an element of y, which means that it is in x minus y. Two is an element of x, but it is also in y. So when we subtract y, we take the two out of it. So two is not in x minus y. Then three is in x, and it's not in y, thus that is in our set also. So x minus y is just the set containing one and three. These are the elements of x that aren't in y. So set subtraction works just how you'd think. If you have a set x and you subtract a set y, so set subtraction works just how you'd think. If you have a set x and you subtract the set y, then you just take all the elements of y out of x, and that's what you're left with in x minus y. So x minus y can't contain any elements of y because we subtracted y out of the set x. Also, I want to quickly mention that you'll sometimes see x minus y written like this. Just be aware that that's another notation that's commonly used. But now let's get into the Venn diagrams. So let's start off with a blue circle, this is the set X, and a red circle that represents the set Y. And we want to shade X minus Y. So where are the elements of X minus Y in this diagram? Well, we know elements of X minus Y have to be in X. So for starters, let's just shade every element of X. That's everything in this blue circle here. Then, since we're subtracting y from x, we need to take away everything that's in y from what we've already shaded. So that's all of this stuff here in the middle that's contained in y. We're taking y away from x, so we need to erase all of this. And then this is what we're left with. This is our visual representation of x minus y in Venn diagram form. This, of course, is the most basic example, but the idea always stays the same. You've just got to shade the elements of the first set and then take away everything that's in the set that you're subtracting. So before we go, let's quickly look at one slightly more complicated example. We'll throw in a third set here called Z. Now let's say we want to shade Y minus X union Z. So we're shading everything that's in Y that's not in X union Z. For starters, again, let's shade everything in Y, and we'll do this shading in red. So that's all of this stuff here that is contained in the red set Y. This is all of Y. And then out of that, we're taking X union Z. Now let's outline X union Z in this thick pink. So this is all of X union Z. It's every element that's in X as well as every element that's in Z. That's all of this stuff here. So if we want to take that out, we just have to erase all of this stuff that's in X as well as the stuff that is in Z. So just make sure I can erase all of this without messing up my sets, and there we go. So now we've shaded everything that's in Y and taken out everything that's in X union Z. So what we have left is Y minus X union Z. But that's really all there is to it, so I hope this video helped you understand how to represent set subtraction using Venn diagrams. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. I'd be happy to talk about more complicated examples if you have some you'd like me to look at. So thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description. Take a chart, you said
to a blank They should have left the chemist blank You don't deserve to be the object of admission